Tell me what to say. Hello and welcome to another exciting new episode of Serious Nibbage with SBRA Brown and Gourmet Pens, aka Aziza. And today we'll have a look at this pen. That pen. It is the Commodore's Credential by Italics, kindly sent over by Mr. Ford of MrPen.co.uk. Thank you. Um, this is a fascinating pen. Yeah. I thought. It's very shiny. And, uh, it's what, very shiny. It is very shiny. What, what were your first impressions? Uh, first impressions? Uh, yeah, I'll see, I'll see. Um, Mr. Pen includes a, a nice simple gift box. That's all. It's all right. I'm not crazy about the packaging, but you know it does the job. Uh, the pen is very pretty. I, yeah. I really like the uh, I like the shape a lot. I like the size a lot, and um, I think it's very attractive. It makes me think of a Waterman hemisphere, hemisphere, but slightly yeah. thicker, because I think the yeah. hemisphere yeah, like a little thick. more yeah. girthy. Yeah. Uh, but it's very pretty. Very positive first impression. Yeah. yeah. Mine too. Very well, well put together, uh, shiny. Especially nice. when you hold it, it's very yeah. it's, feels uh, good and substantial. It's a very, very nice taper. Nice. I think it looks it looks very good. So, yeah, sticking out the side of your head. Yeah. What makes it special? Well, I would say one of the things that makes it special that goes for a lot of the italics pens. So italics pens, if you don't know the brand, is only available through MrPen.co.uk. So you can't get it anywhere else. Uh, the nice thing about a lot of these pens is that they come with an insane range of nib options, yep. many of which are ground in-house there. So you can get... Well ground. Yes, well ground. So you can not just get your fine, medium and broad, but also italics, left foot obliques, right foot obliques. I think at least stubs. you can definitely get stubs. You can get... So there's, there's a lot of nib options yeah. that are becoming increasingly harder to get, such as obliques. Uh, so I think that, that makes it very special. Yeah, I think that's accurate. What was your writing experience? What like? was your writing experience? My writing experience was actually positive. This is the italic. That, that sounds very negative, like you were expecting it to. No, be. no, absolutely not. Yeah. But it, so far, I've not been disappointed by italic pens. Yeah. Uh, it's a medium italic nib, which you can see here. Kind of tubular. Uh, it's a bit tubular. It has. Uh, there was a, a name for that too. It's supposed to give you superior ink flow. And flow I, smart, flow tip. Yeah, something like something that. Something like yeah, flow tip. Um, and it's 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 pleasant. It's it's yeah. good. It doesn't really uh, hard start or skip. I think it's a good, uh, yeah, well tuned nib. Yeah, uh, this one is untipped, but I'm fairly certain you can uh, also acquire tipped. Yeah, I don't know if you can do that with this particular model, but you can do it with some of the other Italian right, models. Right, like not the tubular yeah, nib. Yeah, where you shape. have the the choice between tipped or untipped, and then you can have both reground to italics uh, or whatever you want. Yeah. So that's quite nice. I, I had the same experience writing-wise. It was It's a very, very smooth uh, nib. Really nice line variation because of the size of it. The medium italic is a really nice size. Not so big that you can't use it for everything. And um, not so small that you don't really notice the difference. No skips, no hard starts, consistent ink flow. Really pleasant. Yeah, very, very, very appealing, I would say. Also was, a nice... Uh, oh, sorry, I was just nope. going to... Um... Is there anything you love and hate about it? Wait, wait, let me just... Uh... Are you ruining it? No, no, no. I'll, well, this kind of leads into my love and hate. Yes, yeah, right. But um, it's a nice size of a pen. Mm -hmm. So... Really nice size, not oversized, but I think a normal size pen with a really nice balance, yeah. and it feels really good in hand. Yeah, so. it's also this. I don't. I really know how to explain this, but the metal feels like it's high quality. I have used inexpensive pens that have metal that feels very, I don't know, coarse, and this is very, very well polished. It's mirror, mirror polished. It looks very cool. Yeah. Well, what about you? Uh, I like I like the looks. It's uh, it's it's. I, I almost find this uh, looks like a, a medical instrument of, of some kind. A probe. Uh, very, a probe. Yeah. <laughs> um, but very. I mean, very shiny. Very cool. So, uh, well done. Something I don't like, and I think that's what, what you were also hinting at, is that this section, if it's not in the barrel very tightly, uh, probably when I try to demonstrate it, it won't work. But when I try to uns oh yes, there we go. I try to unscrew the cap, and the whole barrel unscrews. So this is a pen. I don't know if that was something you wanted to say. That but, was one of the um, pens. The um, you really have to make sure with this pen that the section is really screwed very tightly into the barrel. Um, 
Because otherwise you may That's accidentally thing. unscrew the thing. And there is this squeak, yeah. Not a big deal, but I mean, if you're in, in a silent lecture room, you know, and you're a student, you're about to open it, it's like, yeah. you know, yeah, or, or something. Very minor, but... It's possible a little bit of silicon grease would help, because I think there is a rubber ring, and I think the rubber ring is what's making the noise, so you can probably put a bit of silicon grease on it and, and silence it, but, um, yeah. Anything else you love or hate? Uh, yeah, another thing, um, what I, not hate, but one thing I have dislike, um, although it does post, yeah. it, it, it's a really, it looks like it should post perfectly, right, because it, it posts deeply and uh, it makes it a nice length and weight but it just falls off yeah. so it does not post uh, it can be posted but I would not say this is a pen that should be posted because you're, the cap can fall off yeah. at any time yeah. so that's really too bad because it's um, it's really nice posted not that it needs it but not for me but um, uh, I don't know that's too bad eh Another thing that I, I have to admit I'm not crazy about is the nib design. Uh, it's uh, it's it's different, which is nice because that makes it not your your standard nib size or nib shape. But I'm not sure if I, I find this really. Some people like nib this nib design. Yeah, it's and just personal. Okay. It's personal matter. Uh, did you find the section too thin for you? It is thin. Okay. Yes. I didn't have issues with the section. Yeah. It is a it's small, but um, I don't. For me, it was okay. It has a nice shape, so it's quite comfortable. None of this is sharp. It's it's actually pretty decent, um, but because there is no flare at the end or something, my my fingers could slip onto the nib quite easily. Get ink on your fingers. Happens with other pens too. It's not not the end of the world, but um, really nice clip. Beautiful finish. I I know it's just plain. There's nothing to it, but I think it looks really nice. It looks um, yeah. looks, looks very yeah. It's like High -tech it's like, like oh yeah. Um, and, uh, very tasteful, uh, marking the brand italics right there. It's very tasteful, you know, it's, it's a very simple thing. It's not like italics all over it or something. Uh, I know some people also don't like when the brand is engraved on the barrel. So I think, um, it's, it's really nice in that regard. It except is. for those couple things, you know, the, yeah. the, the few things mentioned. Would you buy it? Okay, uh, sorry, I, I completely have forgotten. We typically I'm... forget the prices of pens, but please bear in mind that we sometimes do 10 of these videos in a row uh, in recording, so we sometimes miss the uh, details a bit of Also, uh, prices costs. are different in different places. Well, in um, this case, you can only buy it here, so... Yeah, but there's with fat and without fat. Yeah, that's true. So this is 45 pounds with fat and 37.50 without fat. Sorry, in the US, it would be cheap. Yeah, I don't think that's a... No, it's just the way I think, it. um... I think that's not an unreasonable price. No. Um, no. I really like the nib. For me, the model has too many things that I dislike that I would not get it, but I would buy a different italics pen and have uh, for the nib. So this particular one I would not buy because of the issues with um, like having to make, make sure everything's screwed in right to open the right parts. And um, and they're not posting. I mean, that's just minor stuff. But um, it does not. It's not the perfect pen for me. But um, yeah. Same thing for me. I like the Italics brand. I really like all the nib options. I really like the looks of the model. It would not be my pen. But that doesn't mean it's a bad pen. It's just something I would not buy. I think it's I a would... fair price. Yes, there are other Italics models that I like a lot better, like the Churchman's Prescripto, for example. I think that's a very nice. Bulky, beefy. Pen. I like the Parsons essential. Yeah, that's also Which very nice. I think nice is one. a bit more, right? A bit more? I actually think it's a bit less. Oh, well, it's even better. I thought this was only like 39 pounds. Uh, anyway. Oh! Well, this is uh, okay. <coughs> now, is it? Or is it not? Serious nibbage. Here is the serious nibbage meter. Not serious, very serious, and a scale that has no numbers because this is not an exact science. Um, I think for me, it's. It's fairly serious nibbage. It's the my my issues are fairly minor, and um, it comes with a converter. It comes with a huge selection of nibs. I think in this particular one, it's eight. That's still quite a bit. 
Um, really nice nib performance and um, really pretty model. It's just a few things that make it not my pen, but I don't think I there's agree. anything wrong with it. So I think it is pretty serious, especially for the price. Yeah, and I really like those nib options in Edith, though. I, there is one italics pen that I think has 17 different nib options, so that's not in this one, but I mean, that, that is a lot of nibs, so it's really cool that you have that choice. Yeah. And I think this, it, just the model, it's, it's well we put together. One thing is how good it feels. Yeah. The metal warms up in your hand, yeah. and it's a really pleasant feeling. It's, yeah. it's, um, it's not super heavy, but it is robust. It uh, it has some weight to it, so it is really nice. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Now, what else could you pick? Imagine you don't want to. Uh, well, let's just say that's what, yeah, like fifty dollars, roughly. Mm -hmm. um, well, then you're getting into the range of something like the Lamy Studio, yep. uh, the Twisby Eco, or the Twisby Five Eighty. Um, you could also look at um, Conklin's Monteverdes. Two Lamy Safaris. Two Lamy Safaris. Or two different Two Cavecos. Um, uh, so yeah, there are options. Uh, but to be honest, of all of those pens, I find that this nib would have the most pleasant writing experience. Yes, yes. So, I agree. Um, that's the nice thing. You are getting a tuned nib. Yeah. And uh, quite often you pay extra from when you buy a, yeah. a factory pen to have your nib tuned. Not always, but sometimes. And... Um, this one would come tuned for you. So that's pretty cool. Yep. All right. I think that's about it. Enough of our rambling. Okay. Yeah. We hope this was useful. Thank you again to Mr. Penn. Yes, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. And um, if you can hear a lot of noise, it's actually pouring out. Yeah, it's pouring out. So right. there's nothing we can do about that. Sorry. Yeah. I will gladly see you later. Bye. And we actually completely forgot to give the pen away because this is a worldwide giveaway. Here is what... Is, what that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. Okay. Because all over the world okay. it's saying, we don't mind, you can win this pen. Now, here's what you have to do. You need to leave a comment on this video. And in your comment, you describe... On the video on YouTube or any of our posts? YouTube. Okay. Because on it's easiest. YouTube. So right here, right Remember, it's a right lot of here. entries for us to have to yeah, we have to monitor it, and we're not that smart, so it takes us a lot of effort. Um, here is what you need to describe. You need to describe what your favorite nib option would be if you were to get that. Not that it matters, because you'll get it with an italic medium anyway. But just because there are all those options, I would just like no, to get an idea. What right. would you pick? Yeah. Right? You can check it out on MrPen.co.uk. And that's it. We hope this was useful. Wait, wait. It's a worldwide uh, 72 hours, and then we will close it, and then we'll pick someone. We will reply to your comment, all the doomahickey. Yeah. Um, so if you Swap are a private and... account and we can't reply to you, we cannot let you know. No. So... Make sure we can reply. Yeah, to you. make sure we can reply to you. That's it. All hope right. this was useful. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. I will gladly see you later again. Bye. Bye.